Hey everybody, welcome back to Uninhibited, the web series dedicated to forensic DNA, brought to you by me, Nick Andrews, and my fellow field application scientist, Peter John McEnany, two former forensic DNA analysts turned FAS at Thermo Fisher Scientific. Okay, Peter John, we got a lot to cover today because today's topic is going to be rapid DNA. Wait, Nick, hold on, hold on, buddy. I got this. I know everything there is to know about rapid DNA. Do not believe you. It slices, it dices, it even lyses. It can even teach your kids common core math. Oh, it's so rapid. 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 Pete, PJ, 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 Rapid. Whoa, 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 whoa. Love your energy, but. I really just want to stick to the actual facts. There's a ton of information out there about rapid DNA technology, so I really just want to break it down and see what it can do. Can you just tell me what makes a rapid DNA instrument rapid? Well, they're rapid because they perform all the steps of the traditional DNA testing workflow in a much shorter period of time. The Applied Biosystems Rapid Hit ID system can process DNA-containing samples in about 90 minutes. Finally! We are getting somewhere. We know what the Rapid Hit ID system does. So let's talk about what it can do for the criminal justice system. Law enforcement agencies in the United States with the applicable legislation could process arrestee DNA using the Rapid Hit ID system in their booking station, similar to evidence collection already performed by the policing agency. And these agencies could even use a portion of the collected evidence from crime scenes to rapidly generate leads and help direct investigations. Great. So you know about the potential for booking stations and investigative leads, but what about the use cases for forensic labs? There are several different ways the rapid hit ID system could fit into a DNA analysis workflow, such as urgent rush cases, missing person investigations, disaster victim identification, and even bone analysis. The rapid hit ID system uses the Applied Biosystems Global Filer Express Amplification Kit, which is a national DNA index system approved kit. If an accredited crime laboratory has validated this amplification kit, it can upload profiles to Endis following the appropriate guidelines. Ah, I am so impressed with myself for how I trained you. What? You know the basics of what the instrument does, and you know some of its use cases in and out of the lab. We still get a lot of questions, though, about rapid DNA technology implementation and the rapid hit ID system itself. So let's see if we can address the most common questions that we get as field application scientists. Let's bring it on. All right, then. I'm going to be quizzing you. So, Peter John, what kind of samples can be processed on the rapid hit ID system? Oh, many types of samples, including buckle swabs, blood, saliva, and even bone samples. Wait, bone? So you're saying that we might be able to find a bone in a tiger cage, process that, see who it came from? Just, just asking for a friend? Oh, what kind of friends do you have? Fine. All right, question two. I have a high throughput direct DNA workflow, and I can do 96 samples at once. Why would I need rapid? Well, the Rapid Hit ID system is not designed as a high throughput solution. It's designed to be fast. It's meant to supplement your traditional workflow for urgent case processing and confirmations. God, you are just killing it. Moving on. Oh, oh, here's a good one. Can law enforcement personnel running the Rapid Hit ID system see the resulting DNA profiles? Absolutely not. DNA profiles are not displayed or interpreted on the Rapid Hit ID system. Users will only see a check mark or an X. DNA profiles are then automatically transferred to the Applied Biosystems Rapid Link software in the crime lab where only qualified DNA analysts can review them. That's why partnering with law enforcement agencies is crucial. I could not have said that better myself. So does the Rapid ID system consume the samples? What if I need to retest them? You can take the swab right out of the sample cartridge after a run and retest. We recommend collecting samples with the two swab method. This allows for one swab to be used for rapid testing and the other swab for additional DNA analysis. I have rapid on the brain. (laughs) Okay, Peter John, very last question. People always quote first pass success rate for rapid DNA technology, but what does that mean? Well, for Thermo Fisher Scientific, first pass success rate is determined by whether the instrument obtains a full DNA profile or a full genotype at all markers tested in the Global Filer Express kit. 
Wow, just wow, Peter John. I am so impressed. You have rapidly nailed and excelled in my rapid fire, rapid questioning. We've covered a lot of information in today's episode. If you had to leave us with your five top tips to remember about the rapid hit ID system, what would they be? They would be. Number one for analysis. Rapid DNA technology is recommended for applications like reference samples, investigative leads, disaster victim identification, and bone analysis. Tip number two for NDIS. You can upload profiles generated through the Rapid Hit ID system using the modified Rapid DNA workflow. Number three, on interpretation. DNA profiles are not displayed or interpreted on the Rapid Hit ID system. Number four, about partnerships. Work with your law enforcement agencies to maximize the results. And lastly, number five, for collection, with the Rapid Hit ID system, you can take the swab out of that sample cartridge after a run and retest it. Thanks, Nick. Those are all great tips. But do you have any closing comments that you would like to add for this episode? Yeah, we've been poking a lot of fun, uh, making some jokes today, but I want to say that Thermo Fisher Scientific has an unbelievable amount of experience with DNA testing, taking it slow, and doing things the right way. That's a great point, Peter John. And I think it's also very important to remember that the Rapid Hit ID system is not intended to be a one-stop solution for every sample. It's not a replacement for your current DNA workflow or for your forensic scientists but it could be a really good fit if you're looking for a way to maximize time and efficiency in your lab. So while no rapid DNA instrument can chop your vegetables or do your taxes, not yet anyway, there's no denying that rapid DNA is groundbreaking technology that harnesses the power of forensic DNA analysis to solve crimes faster. If you're interested in learning more about the rapid hit ID system or rapid DNA technology, join us for these upcoming webinars. We'll put the links in the comments below. All right, Nick, anything else to add? The only thing I would add is always remember your FAS and HID tech support are there if you need anything. Yeah, we can be contacted via email or you can contact your local field application scientist, account manager, or even the HID tech support line. All right, that's it for this episode of Uninhibited. We'll see you next time. Bye guys. So Peter John, what do you actually know about rapid DNA technology? Well, Nick, I actually know everything about rapid DNA technology. It's a single capillary instrument, which means it processes just one sample at a time, but it does that really fast, which is why they call it rapid. It's only like 90 minutes, okay? So you put your sample in there, and of course, there's like two different cartridges, and basically those do every part of SDR DNA analysis from extraction or lysis, uh, all the way to capillary lipophoresis, which of course, if I didn't mention it, the Applied Biosystems Rapid ID system is a single capillary instrument. So it only processes one sample at a time, but it does that in about 90 minutes or less. And that's everything, like I said, from start to finish, lysis, extraction, amplification, all the way to capillary electrophoresis inside of one little tiny box. Okay. Camera, camera, camera. Camera. Hey. Rewind. Rewind. Yo, camera. Yo, give me the camera. Camera. Yo, camera. Yo, camera. Yo, give me the camera. Using the Rapid Hit ID system at their booking stations. Similar to Evelyn. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is Evelyn's? I don't know. Yo, camera. 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 <laughs> what kind of Evelyn's types? I just want to say rapid one more time. Rapid. Come on, camera. There we go. There we go. Kind of sounds like I'm ribbiting. Ribbit. Ribbit. Rabbit. I'm going to look like Toad from Mario Kart. It's license. Camera, camera, camera. Camera. Hey, there you go.